Okay, Eddie. Welcome back to the channel, Live Free, Live Rich. My name is John, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about how readers, writers, and artists can use Discord and Gilded servers for networking purposes. The easiest way to get your work featured on the show just go ahead just join the discord the link is always in the description down below uh you just click on that you'll get a free invite to the discord server and then from there you there's all these different channels where you can share various things like your books that you've published if you publish on a blog you can share blog posts with me if you have a youtube channel or something like that where you do videos that you think would be relevant for the show then you could share your videos with me, submission calls if you run your own publishing house or anything like that, or you're setting up an anthology project, you're looking for writers, please share those projects. Crowdfunding projects like Kickstarter, like we just covered, or if you're on Indiegogo, doesn't have to be a novel, could be a comic book. Shit, I'm thinking about uh, maybe even covering like some indie gaming. If you're an indie game developer, you know, that might be something that uh, you could share. If, as long as it has to do with independent publishing in general, I'm interested. You can also share like your arts and crafts. If you make hand handmade, like if you do illustrations or make handmade crafts, uh, you could share that type of stuff with me. Also, if you know you're maybe just uh, a reader and you do you host book clubs. I'm interested in that or reading events, you know, periodic reading events. You do reading events periodically. You host something like that, especially if you're into like indie books, because if you host a reading event, like say you do like a reading, you're going to host a read along or something like that, uh, like a one time, like hit it and quit it kind of reading event. Uh, I might be inclined to jump in on that if you're covering an indie book. So definitely share that with me and let me know. Now, also, I want to let you guys know that I understand that Discord is not for everybody. So I've actually decided to create an alternative. I started a gilded server, uh, just like I did with the Discord. I'm going to continue to promote both the Discord and the gilded, but it's just a matter of choice. You guys have the option. If you want to join the gilded, join the gilded, the Discord, the Discord. They both pretty much operate the same. Now, when I was starting the Gilded, one thing I noticed is that, you know, if it was like a one for one, like literally Gilded is just literally just the same exact thing as Discord, then I would have just said, fuck it. And I wouldn't even have made a Gilded and just been like, it's the same exact thing as Discord, just focus on the Discord. But no, Actually, there are some features that you can do with Gilded that you can't do with on Discord that actually make the Gilded server a little bit uh, cooler, in my opinion, than using Discord. But let's check it out. I, I just want to show you guys some of those features real quick. All right. So here on Gilded, let me just break it down for you real quick, real fast. You're going to see you join. You have this little overview section they call sections here so this cool oh, this little overview section is cool uh just for if i want to make any kind of announcements that are relevant to the brand to the network itself like if i'm about to do live streams you'll see what i can do is i can post the latest live stream boom the latest live stream will pop up right on top so never again you'll you'll have to go searching for the link okay you can just join the the server on Gilded and hit overview and go right there. And then this, you got the Storyteller Society right here. We'll get into that. You can see the about section over here, see how many members there are. And also it's got my social media links. Boom, right there. Boom, boom, boom. You wanna you wanna know where I'm at, where how to get in contact with me. Of course, we got some general chat on the side. So the channels, you'll see what I mean by how it's pretty much the same thing as Discord. Uh, where you see like a, a little hashtag symbol, general chat, or the hashtag like your books. So this is where you would share your books with me, right? You just share a link. Just share a link right in there. And now the screen itself, you'll see it's set up where it's just a feed. You're just, you're just going to see a feed of whatever people are posting. 
Um, and it that works exactly the same way as Discord. Now, here's a little bit different one though. When you're creating a new channel, you can create media channels. So this is just media based, uh, just a media based channel. So it looks kind of like a gallery, which I thought is pretty cool. So if you want to share your videos with me, all you do is you just go on here and then you would um, at click add media and then you would just share a link. You could just share a link to a YouTube video or something like that and it'll post it right in here like a gallery. And I do the same thing for like your arts and crafts. So if you want to just share, you can upload a photo like a JPEG or something like that. Um, then you can just put that on here and people can click on it. The reason why it's cool is because it's a gallery format, right? So like each individual post, people can click on each individual post. It's going to pop up on the screen like this. And then people can leave comments, leave a feed of comments on that one particular post. And I like that because then you could because then the comments are actually organized by posts instead of having just one big long ass friggin feed and trying to figure out who's, you know, who's talking to who and what are they referring to and this and that, you know what I mean? As far as the, as far as the feed goes. So you can just click on something in the gallery, boom, just see what kind of conversations are going on surrounding that particular piece in the gallery. So that I thought that was pretty cool. And then also they you when you create a new channel, you can do forums, quote unquote, forum channels. So in forum channels, what you do is there's this bar up here. You can say create a topic. All right. Create a topic and it works just like Internet forums, if you're familiar with Internet forums. But I, what I did is I got a little creative with it and I said, OK, these are your submission calls. So if you're a publisher and you want to do if you want to. Uh, pitch a, uh, a new project that you're looking for writers or something like that. For instance, I set one up here for the Storyteller Society. So this is a project. So people can click on this particular project and then boom, brings them right to my forum post. I got this nice little presentation here where I got the, where I got the graphic, the banner. And then underneath, I got my short little pitch where it says, do you have a story to tell? Can you tell it in 2000 words or less? And then boom, I got a link click the link and it's going to bring you to the actual website where you would sign up for that particular project or get involved with that particular project. Now I did something similar. I did the same exact thing with book clubs. So if you run a book club, say you run like a Facebook group or something like that, well, then just create a new topic and do like the title. You can just click new topic. You could do the title of your, your book club. And then you can create your post, like you could add the graphics to it or whatever. Just make sure you put a link in there. If you say you do a Facebook group or you have a website where people sign up for your book club or anything like that. And just make sure you put all that in your post and then boom, it's the same thing as if you were posting a submission call. And last, uh, they also have these calendars. So like reading events, say you don't host a book club but you just want to host like a one-off reading event. You know, you want to do like a, you want to schedule a buddy read or something like that. They have this calendar where you can like set up events. So this is cool. Like people can get anyone who's on the server can just come onto this channel right here for the reading events. And they can see all the upcoming events that people from the server have scheduled. So you just go to any date you want, hit the little plus sign. You put the name for your event. Um, of course, the location is optional, the time frame in which the event is taking place, or you could just do a single date if you want. And then the URL, I would suggest if you want to get creative with it, is the URL option could be a live stream video that you have scheduled. Say you're going to do a live discussion on a book that you're reading like you're, you for your reading event. You say, okay, we're going to do a reading event, you guys, and it's going to take place from this date to this date. Um, you're running it only once, and then and then you leave a URL to the live stream video that you've already scheduled ahead of time for when the live discussion is going to take place or the video discussion, whatever, uh, after the fact. And people can uh, get involved that way. So I just thought those were some cool features that kind of set the Gilded server apart 
from the Discord server. I know with a little bit of magic, like using bots or something like that, you can do something similar to this with Discord or on Discord rather, but it's just it's just so much easier to set up with Gilded. So the link to that in the description down below, you guys can become uh, a part of that. Now, before you leave, we got one more thing to do, and that's for you to draw a card. On your left, you'll see the Rebel deck. On your right, you will see the Mythic deck. That's right. Choose your path and accept your fate.